Well, in the Venn diagram, we're crossing over two very important things from the world of Jerry Anderson, one being an important show and one being an important effect, shall we say. Anyway. Right. One of the most distinctive effects in Thunderbirds and other Century 21 productions is the powerful rocket engines that adorn miniatures of vehicles like Thunderbird 1, Fire Flash, and, well, practically every other aircraft, as you know. Yeah. These tiny rockets used real explosives to create an impressive blast that had to be insulated from the wooden models using bits of metal. Sometimes, in fact... Dad's discarded metal cigar tubes because at that time right. he was a big old smoker and smoked a lot of cigars oh. with old Lou Grade. Yes, uh, yes. Now, naturally, a technician would be required to fly Thunderbird 1 on wires as these rockets contained no thrusting power of their own. They were merely for yeah. appearance, as many Postrons yeah. will know. But did you know that these rockets creating the illusion of international rescue, rescuing someone, were actually made by real rescuers? What? Oh, oh, yes. In an interview with Brendan Sheehan, Philip Ray, uh, the late Derek Meddings, and our recently passed lovely friend David Nightingale, Derek revealed that the effects team used to purchase these rockets custom-made from a British company called Shemullies. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Yes. I'm going to say it like that because it's sort of nice to say, but it's S-C-H-E-R-M-U-L-L-Y. Shemully. 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 Shermily. Shermily. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm going to go for that. Uh, anyway, yeah. this company made all sorts of pyrotechnics in the 1960s, but traced their history back to the founder, William Shermully, mm-hmm. who in the late 1890s decided to do something about frequent drownings occurring due to shipwreck. Ooh. What was needed was a way to fire a line from a sinking ship to a nearby shoreline. With ingenuity yeah. worthy of brains himself... Shamuli devised the SRPA or Shamuli Rocket Pistol Apparatus. Oh, I like it. This formidable device could throw a line through crosswinds with high accuracy, was waterproof, and yet simple enough to be fired by a child. Uh, we do not recommend it being fired <laughs> by children. No. Um, the company went on to produce many other life saving products, including signal flares and uh, grapple rockets, before becoming part of Pains of Wessex which is still in operation today. Oh. Shamuli's observations on the crisis of the day could have been spoken by Jeff Tracy himself. He said, Lost ships can be replaced, but lives lost are gone forever. That oh, is a... we should have got John Coleshaw in for that. Oh, well, I, yeah, OK. Well, we'll ask him to do that later. But <laughs> That's uh, nice. It is very Jeff Tracy-esque, isn't it? So how yes. appropriate, then, that the SRPA, another nice acronym as well, yep, yep. became so so much part of... Uh, International Rescue and all the other uh, vehicle fleets in the Anderson universes. That's great. Nice story. And something for the Christmas list for next year. (laughs) Yes. Can I have an SRPA, please? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Yeah, that's that's such a strange thing to use, but it's all part of the ingenuity of of the effects teams and anyone working on those practical things. Absolutely. Finding ways to do these effects convincingly. Very nice. Yeah. So there you go. Richard? Is there anything else you'd like to add to this before we put this one to bed? No, I think that's that was a pretty good fab, Jamie. Well done. Oh, well, thank you yeah. very much. Enjoy uh, it. In that case, that's the end of this week's... Shrink Shrink fact! fact. <laughs> <laughs>